Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Q&A Wednesday from DX Engineering. I'm Mark, W8BBQ. I'm Rod, K8RR. And today we're talking about amateur radio uh, bands and uh, what's... The band plan. Known as a band plan. Right, right. right. So we're going to take a walk over to our handy dandy weather screen over here. Uh, yes, the band <laughs> plan screen. This is actually the ARRL's U.S. Amateur Radio Bands uh, band plan chart. Right, and what is the band plan actually? Just in a nutshell, it tells us where yeah. we can operate and what modes, right? Yeah, here they have it laid out according to the FCC regulations of where you're allowed to transmit CW, mm -hmm. where you're allowed to transmit phone, and other modes. Um, it also shows some of the uh, uh, modes that you're allowed to transmit as well as where different class operators are allowed depending to on your license right D depending upon your license and mm -hmm. we'll point out some of those things here along with some of the gentlemen's agreements about where people operate on certain modes right so uh we'll we'll start off with the uh the obscure uh, the new 220 uh, meter band, the 222, yeah, 2,200 meter band, mm -hmm. the 2,200 meter band, which is uh, a new uh, allocation for 135 kilohertz that almost nobody can use because it's very difficult to get equipment working on that fr on that frequency. Yes. Likewise, on the 630 meter band at 472 kilohertz, mm -hmm. a new allocation very low power uh, uh, allowances, one watts uh, effective uh, radiated power. Um, it's for experimenters. Right. Uh, much like uh, the microwave bands above uh, 1300 megahertz. Yeah, so we, don't, we won't spend too much time on those. Really not gonna spend any time on those. Uh, the, the common bands, the most common band that hams go to use when they get uh, their general class or even tech uh, 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 privileges mm -hmm. um, are going to be where? Um, I would say, well, if we're talking tech privileges, they're going to be at the six meters or ten meters uh, if they're operating phone only. Um, if they're getting into digital modes, you know, uh, FT8 is obviously a, a happening thing right now, so that opens up uh, some other bands also. That's right. Uh, as a technician, you have uh, the uh, uh, legacy novice uh, class uh, privileges. Um, on uh, CW and digital modes at the uh, uh, near the bottom of the 80 meter band, mm -hmm. um, on the 40 meter band, um, and also on the 15 meter band, as well as phone privileges. Techs have phone privileges here um, on the uh, 10 meter band, mm -hmm. and so people ask, uh, you know. I wanted my antenna to work on 10 meters. They think they need it to work from 28 uh, megahertz all the way up to 29.7 megahertz. Right. Why wouldn't that be needed? Well, in most cases, if it's a technician's license, obviously, um, the way the ARRL has uh, this particular one set up. Um, so here's your novice and technician's class license right there. And so that's going to be the, uh, that's the band plan for where a novice slash technician license right. would be like. You could work uh, CW from uh, 28 uh, megahertz up to 28.3, mm -hmm. and then phone from 28.3 to 28.5. Right. Well, how about this uh, FT8 things everybody's talking about? I don't see an FT8 uh, place to work FT8 on 10 meters. Well, FT8 is done in the uh, data portion ah. uh, by... Uh, by license, uh, licensing and FCC regulations, it would have to be in the section right. where uh, RTT and data and CW are allowed. Right. So if you have a technician class license, um, basically any of the areas, in this case, that are in red, that state Ridian data and um, you know are marked with the T or the N for technician or novice, there's a chance to be able to uh, work FT8 somewhere in there. That's right. Um, by uh, practice, where most of the people go to work FT8 mm -hmm. is, is sort of like recognize that you're going to go to certain frequencies. Like, for example, um, on the uh, 40 meter band, um, most people uh, gather around 70 40. Mm -hmm. um, uh, on the 80 meter band, most people uh, gather on FT8 around uh, uh, 35 70. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so that brings up some other uh, ideas about, uh, okay, like I, I just upgraded to general class and mm -hmm. I want to get on HF and operate phone. Where am I going to go operate? Well, as a general class, you're restricted to frequencies above 3,800 uh, kilohertz on the 80 meter band, which is the same thing as 3.8 megahertz, by the way, um, and up to 4. And then on 40, you uh, get to start off at 71, 75, and, and work your way up to 7,300. Um, so uh, what about 20 meters? It's a little bit special, isn't it? Yeah, 20 meters is, um, especially um, once you get that great upgrade to the general class license where you get to use a lot of the, uh, the phone privileges. But a uh, little, little break in, uh, in 20 meters. And um, then you also get what the, the A comes into play there. <laughs> what is an A? <laughs> <laughs> That's the old legacy advanced, advanced class, class license. And mm -hmm. uh, they actually had more frequency allocation than a general class but not as much as an extra. Correct. And that's why everybody really wants to upgrade to extra because you get the entire band on all the bands right. as an extra class. Right. Um, any other spots of uh, interest? Um, I think it's just important to, to point out, and by the way, um, these are very handy, these band plans. And, and most months, the ARRL, um, there's a full page one of these listed in the Q, uh, QST magazine that you can cut out and um, you know, a lot of guys will tape it. them on their yeah. desk, you know. They also or, sell it on a card. Right, they actually right. sell it on a card. Yeah. Um, uh, it's available as an 11 by 17, so right. it's easy to The uh, Nifty post. Company makes that uh, uh, Rolodex type one, so a lot of different options. That's right. So uh, check out the, uh, the band plans and also uh, go online to find out uh, where specific modes of operation are commonly uh, mm -hmm. uh, worked. Uh, you'll you'll find a lot of and, uh, and one last thought it's yeah. important right to to yeah. watch the band edges and where you're at within that correct so yeah don't don't, uh, don't to transmit too close to a band edge and uh, and then and then operate which would be illegally right so a lot of guys even after they get their extra license you'll still find that they have uh, have these on their desk and refer to them quite frequently I still do right so you know especially even I'm an extra yeah so especially if you're uh, you know Technically, technician class license. Um, this is definitely something you want to keep handy. All right, that'll do it for this edition of DHX Engineering's Q and A Wednesday. We'll see you next time, and uh, check us out at dxengineering.com. Yep, stop by. Seventy-three. 73.